My name is Jason Rutberg. I am a proud member of USA 180, where we're basically turning America around one person at a time. Hopefully turning the world around now with Global 180. Um, I'm also the uh, National Deputy Director, or one of the National Deputy Directors of USA 180. I'm pretty much focused around communications and uh, technology. Uh, and that involves a lot of different things. Uh, if you look at the shirt that I'm wearing, for example, this is a shirt that Vocal Brush and I uh, came up with on the USA 180 One Voice forum. Um, that's www.usa180.org forward slash One Voice, where we've set up this forum that, um, that makes it so you can come in and uh, start talking about issues, posting videos, and all of this type of thing. It's uh, very similar to what uh, we're offering the, the members through the UINC sort of thing, which is another project uh, I'm working on. Um, but, the, but the strategy here uh, overall is to have information on the organization's forum and then have reporting through the UINC forum so in, in essence, when we do the daily video broadcasts, um, you know, the daily video blogs, you know, people will be able to see, hey, I need to go check out the USA 180 uh, forum because there's some information there I want to know about. So that's essentially the idea, and we're getting, uh, you know, broadcasters involved at this time, and we're very much in, in an infant sort of stage. But enough about that sort of thing. What I wanted to point out to you is what Vocal Brush and I worked on. And what we worked on is, you know, we came up with this, this idea of saying, okay, well, how do we get information out to people? How do we break this stranglehold of the corporate media? Because it's, it's, it's killing us. It's, uh, it's, it's the defining factor to determine if we are successful in what we do. And uh, in essence, there's a technological way, which is, you know, the direction that, that UINC focuses on, and then there's this other, much simpler way, um, which is all about, which is all about, um, you know, creating T-shirts. I thought, well, if we create T-shirts, you know, they have to be, you know, sophisticated T-shirts. But Vocal Brush had this idea. No, it doesn't. All you need to do is buy a white T-shirt and put some letters on it. It's like, hey, well, that's a great idea. We could put, you know, buy a white T-shirt put some letters on it, we'll be all set. Um, that's exactly what I did. So I spent some money. Uh, as you can see, it says in, it's not illegal to falsify the news. And Florida Court Appellate Court Ruling uh, 2003 sourced the corporation. And then you can see, I'll, I'll you know, kind of give you the rest of the shirt here. There's more. Uh, let's see, what happens when the media can legally lie? Look at the back of this shirt. And the back of his shirt is, well, I don't know if you can read that. You can try. <laughs> Go low. <laughs> Here we go. All right. There's the back of the shirt. I can't read it because I can't read backwards. But uh, I, I think you kind of get the idea. You can always pause the video, I suppose. Um, and you probably don't want to see my backside too much. So the whole idea here is is that you get people's attention. And this is a very effective way to get their attention because the question that we want them raising is, hey, why didn't I hear about that? Hey, why didn't I hear about that on CNN? You know, because they still think they can trust the news. And what we begin to find out is this is really levels of disinformation, levels of lies. Um, and the more people that can come forward, the closer we get to the truth. So we had a tremendous victory, um, in my opinion, uh, with respect to the um, w with respect to the whole. Oh, I'm looking at you now. With respect <laughs> with respect to the whole uh, aspect of uh, Georgia. And there were over 300,000 hits on one video where a person came in and said, 
hey, it wasn't the Rus it wasn't the Russians as the U.S. media has been pointing out. It was the Georgians that were actually killing people to begin with. That's very important. And then you add a couple of other videos uh, to that picture, uh, like with respect to some of the history, which was a great video that somebody put out today. Then you add another piece to the picture, which is what Dr. Mark Taylor came out with, which is that the U.S. is sitting on 40% of the world's oil uh, and not telling anyone about it, and we're paying three, four, five dollars for a gas at the pump, or soon to be, and we have to fight in Iraq. So you see what I mean by the disinformation? There's a tremendous amount of disinformation, a tremendous amount of deliberate attempts to get you to think and feel and act a particular way. So the thing you got to do is you got to break that up. So the question is, well, how do you do it? Now this T-shirt starts to break it up because um, it gets people to ask the questions. It upsets their comfort zone, and really that's what we're dealing with. Is you know people don't want to step out of their world of fantasy. CNN is is fantasy. Let's be realistic. Um, so. Reality is govtrack.us, for example. So this is very important to understand, and people don't want to do that. So you have to kind of help them along. You can't throw paper at them, you have, and you have to do it in a way that makes it so they can, by choice, jump into what it is that you're trying to do. And that's what we're doing with these T-shirts. So if you have something that you think is really important, please go to the USA 180 One Voice Forum and take a look at how we did this T-shirt. You know, there, was, there was a lot of thought that was put into it. I spent a whole day doing an experiment, walking around with different types of t-shirts, figuring out how to get people's attention, um, kind of using myself as a guinea pig. And then the whole idea is, you know, you create some business cards, you hand them out to people. Now, you can do this. You can break the corporate media by doing that. You don't need YouTube. So good luck at doing that uh, I look forward to being very involved with USA 180 and uh, you know my other adventure you Inc um, uh, and basically I want you to know that I'm a very proud member of USA 180 and we're turning America around we're gonna turn the world around one person at a time <laughs>